Hey everyone, Kayla here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Hope you guys are doing well in this continued quarantine situation, staying safe and healthy, as everyone is saying. So I've talked to quite a few people and a lot of people have said that, you know, they're kind of feeling a bit guilty or feeling like they're doing something wrong because they are quarantined and gyms and other fitness centers have closed obviously so now social media sources are bombarding us with at-home workouts anywhere from people squatting with their dogs on their shoulders to doing lunges with their groceries and you know all else which is fine if that's for them but for people in recovery this can kind of make you feel guilty and shameful and question what you're doing. So with all of that, amongst all the chaos, I want to show you my recommended recovery at home workout that you should be implementing into your recovery. Let's go see what that is. What I want you to do is find a place where you can lay out. This pose is called corpse pose. I want you to just relax. Whatever anxieties or fears are telling you that you should be moving more or doing more or if you're lazy that you're not working out, even if you're feeling exhausted and achy and painful and swollen that you should go and exercise and there's no excuses and you got to find some at-home workouts to make you feel more energized even though you're left feeling more exhausted than before. Whenever those thoughts start to come up, I just want you to breathe into that and let it go. And I want you to replace that with telling yourself, I am doing the healthiest thing for my body right now by resting. Not moving my body is actually the healthiest thing that I can do for my body. And exercising when I feel exhausted or when I feel guilty or anxious for not moving or for eating too much or for gaining weight, I need to challenge that because that's a compulsion mindset. That's a disordered mindset towards moving my body. And I actually need to force myself to sit down and rest instead and listen to my body's communication signals of fatigue. So I want you to replace that and I want you to rest. So yes, that is what I recommend to you. Your at-home workout is corpse pose. My number one at home workout that I recommend for those of you in recovery who are feeling exhausted, have a guilt, anxious, and fearful compensative relationship towards exercise. So you can stay in corpse pose for as long as you want without guilt, without shame, without feeling like your life is going to crap, uh, without you feeling like you're just a lazy slob. Like, no. This is the best thing that you could do for yourself right now in recovery, okay? So if you're feeling exhausted, fatigued, pain, joint pain, achiness all over, swollen, tight, puffy, and you still have really extreme hunger, mentally or physically, you're just thinking about food constantly, 24 seven, you're feeling drained, and you don't have your period back yet, any of these, this is a sure sign that you need to be resting. You need to take a complete rest from exercise. So if you haven't already, take advantage of this time to rest completely from body movement. You can go sit outside if you want some fresh air, throw the dog toy for the dog, have a picnic and eat your fear foods and rest. Again, like I said, this is not a forever thing. This is a let me recover, get my health and sanity back and get my life back kind of thing. And then I'll reapproach that and make sure that my mindset around body movement is healthy and normal, not disordered and compulsive and compensative. An extended break like months, not just weeks. So even if the thought of cutting back a day from your exercise routine or even taking a complete rest from your daily walks or taking a complete rest altogether makes you feel anxious, fearful, stressed out, panicky, and you don't know what to do with your life and you feel like that's not it, that you're not gonna be okay, this is a sure sign that you need a complete rest from exercise for as long as it takes to get over this. So you need to assess what's going on there. Why do you feel so guilty and anxious and fearful around stopping exercise? Typically it's from a fear of gaining weight, so you're still trying to control the recovery process, slow it down, prevent the inevitable, um, control your body, um, not accepting potentially a higher set weight point where your body feels healthier, 
all of this kind of stuff. You need to assess that for yourself, what's going on there. And challenge this part so that it doesn't control you anymore, right? And it doesn't come from a disordered place. This one can even be harder for a lot of people than facing their fear foods. And I emphasize this one so much. I tell this to so many of the people that I work with. Um, it's always the last thing that people hold on to for control, typically. Um, and this is the biggest one that keeps people stuck or gets people stuck in a quasi recovery type state. Exercise turns into or just amplifies into a compensative behavior in the form of compensation as you eat more calories, you eat more types of foods, you eat unsafe foods, you gain weight you start retaining water and then the anxieties around needing to move your body more goes up or just the anxieties around these things go up and then people turn to exercise to deal with that and cope with that and that's the wrong way to approach this so this happened with me like i've talked about in other videos and this happens with so many people so don't let this one be you so you might be thinking like what do you mean i have to stay healthy and active and I need to stay active to be healthy. Like, what do you mean? Like, I need to take a full break from exercise. And so I just wanna reiterate this. Healthy is resting completely for you in recovery. This was a big one that I didn't wanna accept for a long time in my recovery. And I read it and I ignored it. And I kept doing my yo-yoing and I prolonged my recovery. And I had to, I was forced into accepting it and it happening. So resting is healthy actually for you that's coming from any kind of restrictive background, any type of lifestyle where you controlled your food, any type of restrictive background at all. No matter what your weight is, where you're at, if you're underweight, normal weight, or at a higher weight, like whatever, yes this applies to you too. So you have to reassociate your definition of health. And I've done another video on this, so maybe I'll link it here. So go watch that one, but that's what you have to do. You have to reassociate your definition of health and this changes, and especially for those in recovery. So I wanna get this clear. I've said it many times before and I keep saying it over and over again to get it through to people that don't wanna hear it. Exercise is just not healthy for you when your body's clearly asking for rest, period. So again, you have the rest of your life to move your body however you want, but for now, you're in recovery because rest is just as important as anything else. Eating, gaining weight, and most people in the fitness scene know that rest days are just as important as the training days. So take this to the next level though in your recovery and take a complete rest and challenge that for yourself. I promise you your future self will thank you when you're recovered versus being stuck in another five years. <laughs> I say all of this because I truly care about you and I truly, truly want people to recover and find the freedom that I was able to get their sanity back, get their mental health back, get their physical health back, get their life back so please you know take this seriously it's your life take advantage of this time it's an interesting time so make the most out of it okay i hope that this video has helped you in some way let me know what you think in the comments below so that's all for this video and i'll see you in a future video